In commercial production of nursery plants and fresh flowers, thousands of plantlets can be rapidly produced from a single plant. This is called micropropagation. This tissue culture technique can be used to produce pathogen-free plants without going through the slow conventional methods of breeding. The initiation of shoots from a callus is the first step in micropropagation. Shoot initiation from tobacco callus will be used here as an example of how micropropagation can enable more industrial use of plant tissue culture. In fact, in the United States alone, more than 120 million plants are produced by commercial micropropagation each year. To begin this procedure, you should have a jar of sterile water, a medium height slide staining jar with 95% ethanol containing forceps and scalpel, a bottle of 70% ethanol, a Bunsen burner, a sterile petri dish, tobacco callus, and shoot development medium. Begin by wiping down all surfaces thoroughly with ethanol. Remove the forceps from the ethanol, flame, and cool them in sterile water. Use the forceps to remove a section of the tobacco callus and immediately place it onto the sterile petri dish and close the lid. Remove the scalpel from the ethanol, flame, and cool. Cut the callus into smaller sections, each about the size of a pencil eraser. Wipe off any debris from the scalpel and forceps and replace them in the ethanol. Use the forceps to place the pieces of callus into a dish containing shoot development medium. Quickly replace the lid and return the forceps to the ethanol. In this experiment, we are using the shoot development medium of Murashigi and Skoog with 3% sucrose and a cytokinin plant hormone. Incubate the cultures at 25 degrees Celsius in the light to aid in stimulating shoot formation. Within two weeks, you should see shoots forming. Micropropagation of tobacco shoots. Now that shoots have been initiated and grown, they can be subcultured into a new medium to allow more shoot growth and eventually root development. This is the multiplication step that makes micropropagation of plants such a powerful tool. To begin with, prepare your sterile work area. In this part of the experiment, you will need the culture dish with shooting tobacco callus, dishes of prepared hormone medium, a bottle of sterile water, a bottle of 70% ethanol, forceps, scalpel, a Bunsen burner, and sterile paper towels. Place a sterile petri dish in front of you. You will use this to cut and transfer the tobacco shoots. Remove the forceps from the alcohol, flame, and dip in sterile water to cool. Open the culture dish containing the tobacco shoots and transfer a clump of shoots to the open sterile petri dish. Cut the mass in half. You should be able to see a brown base of callus from which all the shoots have emerged. This base serves as a feeder tissue for conducting nutrients from media in the dish to the young shoots. Divide the clumps so that each shoot contains a small piece of the brown base. Transfer the shoots onto the fresh medium containing hormone. Close the lid, wipe the forceps and scalpel with a paper towel, and return to alcohol. Incubate the cultures as before under controlled light and temperature conditions. This propagation step can be repeated every few weeks, resulting in the production of hundreds of new plantlets in just a few months. Rooting and acclimatization. The plant cultures can be left incubating in vitro until they eventually root although rooting usually requires oxen application to the culture medium. In industry, however, 
In vitro rooting is skipped in favor of rooting out of culture because it takes less time and is not that expensive. This is accomplished by first removing the unrooted shoots from their sterile environment. The shoots are then trimmed and soaked in the rooting hormone auxin. They are then transferred to a fog chamber that will simulate the high humidity, low light conditions that the plant was accustomed to in vitro. Over the course of about two weeks, the fogging is slowly diminished thereby reducing the humidity and the tent opens until the plants no longer require extra protection. This process is known as acclimatization or hardening off of the plant. If the process is successful, the shoot should have rooted and grown considerably in just a few weeks. At this point, the plants are ready for field planting. The prior examples are just a few of the many techniques used in the cell culture of plants. Some additional techniques include the use of bioreactors, where cells or tissues, such as roots, can be grown in larger culture vessels, and cell suspension culture, where the cells are grown in liquid medium. As we have demonstrated in this video, plant tissue culture seemingly has no limits and has no seasons. Be it replicating a few household favorites or serving a multi-million dollar industry, plant tissue culture has widespread use. Whether the purpose of in vitro plant culture is for research, industry, micropropagation, or personal use, the fundamental techniques shown in this film provide a means of accomplishing it.